and they say that the market's always, you know, what the stock market, that's just like gambling. It annoys me to no end when people say that. And you know what? In their defense, it's only because they heard from a buddy or a friend or they've had a bad experience. But I'm telling you right now, these experiences and these stories wouldn't be happening. People understood their risk tolerance and then played accordingly. I can't wait for this series to begin and to continue and for you guys to comment and ask me other questions and DM me and then we can help more and more people. This is geared towards the person that's sitting wherever they're sitting right now in Canada and don't know where to start. You're in your 20s or your 30s and you need to be able to start or want to start investing. This is going to be basic information that we don't get nearly enough taught on. And I want everyone that follows me, and more, more than that, I want everyone to know where they can turn to for this sort of information, because it's so important. Making sure you have a strategy before you get in, and then sticking with the strategy. That's as simple as investing is. If you have a strategy going into your investing, then you actually are able to steer clear of the emotional roller coaster that some people are involved in. Investing does not have to be emotional. If we can take emotion out of investing, that's not gambling anymore. You are now implementing a strategy. And then we wouldn't have the problems that we have right now that I see that some people don't know where to go. They don't know where to start. And they say that the market's always, you know, what the stock market, that's just like gambling. It annoys me to no end when people say that. Make sure that that sinks in. It needs to sink in. You know, the market isn't a gambling machine unless you're playing on your emotion. Will there be losses in the markets? Yes. However, if you know when you're going to get out, it's not a loss. Okay? Because you have a strategy. Do you think Warren Buffett just goes in and starts buying up stock and hoping for the best? No. He already knows when he's going to get out before he even gets in. And that's the key. Most people don't. They play on their emotion. We'll all just hold it for a little bit longer and hopefully it will get there. And then all of a sudden the bottom drops right out. And that's where it's emotional. Make sure you have a strategy before you get in. If I'm going to invest, is it a one-year strategy? Is it a three-year, five-year, 10-year, 25-year? Whatever strategy and whatever risk tolerances that you have, then you are different than everybody else. Nobody's cookie cutter here. This is not a cookie cutter situation where everybody's going to be the same and that, yes, everyone deserves this fun. No, not everybody wants that. Not everybody's comfortable with that fun. Not everybody's even comfortable with the thought of having that fun. Sit down with a professional. Sit down with someone that you want to emulate and be like and then figure out your plan. Your plan for investing, what it looks like, what you want your money to be doing, what you're comfortable with. Because let me tell you, it's not timing the markets. Do You cannot time the markets. And if you're trying to time the markets, you're going to be emotional. And you can be. Some people are uh, built a little differently. And they, that's why their risk tolerance is a little higher than a lot of people's. But most people, they need to have a plan before they get in. And if they had that plan, it would be something that you just don't worry about. Because you know it's a long-term thing. Key takeaway, making sure that you have a good relationship with your finances. That's key. You need to have that. Then we figure out what kind of strategy, what kind of risk tolerance you have. And then we can start talking about the different types of investments. I will talk about that in the next video. I want to be able to help as many people as I can so that everyone has this basic information and we have a basic understanding of where everyone should start. Not everyone's going to finish in the same spot, but if everyone has the same spot they can start, that's my goal. My goal is to make sure that Canadians understand what they should be doing with their money, how they should be looking at their money, and so that they're not reacting to their money. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. And again, make sure that if it's a sensitive question that you have or you don't think you should comment here down below, um, DM me. On Instagram, this is not financial advice. I am not suggesting that you invest in a certain fund, certain company, in a certain portfolio. 
with a certain person. None of that stuff. This is basic information for the average Canadian so that they understand how the system works and how money works. Freaking excited for this because this is the kind of stuff that I love to talk about and I could talk about for hours. But we got to start with a base so that everyone is on the same page. And then we can start talking about where most Canadians start and where they could start, depending on risk tolerance. Thank you for all the support. I'm excited and I will see you on the next one.